What's going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. Wearing my Meow Wolf shirt from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Got Black Betty with me today because we're here at the newest installation of Meow Wolf Denver, y'all. Got me a ticket to go inside. Gonna take you guys along with me. It's a $50 ticket here. I don't know if there's extras after that, but uh, we're gonna go check it out. So thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, guys, not sure what this creature is right here. But I will tell you that I came prepared knowing what they told me last time I was at Meow Wolf in Vegas. No professional camera gear. And that includes a GoPro, according to Meow Wolf and also all of the uh, Six Flags. So we're gonna be filming on my iPhone. I brought my little wired microphone. Hopefully that's gonna work. Just get, sorry. Just getting ready to get into my time slot, but I wanted to point out real quick that see the stadium over there in the distance? Did you know that the Denver Broncos have lost more games in that building than any other pro football team? That is a fact. <laughs> I can't even rag on the Denver Broncos. They actually got our, our quarterback, Russell Wilson, the Seattle quarterback. He's going to be playing in that stadium for the Denver. <sighs> I wish him the best. It just sucks. We always give away all our best, best players. Getting close, couple minutes and we'll be heading in. All right, and here is the entrance. They are all different. All three Meow Wolf's locations have different themes. So this says Convergence Station. And we're gonna find out once we get inside. I gotta get in that line over there. Uh, it's pretty crazy when you first come in, a little confusing. Um, they tell us that you take elevators and there's portholes to the, all the different dimensions. So it really doesn't matter where you start. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, we are inside something, something. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> it's an art installation, folks. It's an interactive art installation. Crazy. Oh, there's another floor up there too. Oh, it's like an alien spaceship in there. Holy cow. It's chili fish. Chili fish. All right, and now we got this old truck thing. Weird. Huh. Hey, it looks like they have the same underglow kit as me. <laughs> I'm loving the green. That looks great. Toyota. Okay. Isn't this crazy, guys? Wow. Oh, it's a theater. Okay. Hey, is that a, is that a kitty cat up there? I, I think so. Wow. Well, that thing will, that'll, that'll do things. I guess that'll do things. Holy cow. <laughs> so many different rooms. Oh, it's so weird. This is like an old uh, transit bus here. Sun Valley Transit. Huh. Oh, and look at the trash pile. <laughs> That's recyclables. That could be recycled. Yeah. Old console TVs. Huh. Uh, let's go check out old Bussy here. I'm driving the bus, guys. Driving the bus. Oh look, the back side of the bus, it looks like they drove through all those signs. <laughs> and they say, don't be afraid to touch stuff and open doors. Holy cow. Look at the drum set up on the ceiling there. Holy cow. Is that an old boat? Yeah, it's like a yacht. Right, let's go into the captain's quarters here. It looks like he collects creepy trolls and stuff. A little porthole here. What we got out there? I, it's art, art. Then here's his desk. Hey, 
All right, what's in here? Oh, let's uh, go upstairs to the top deck. Oh, weird. The lights are doing something crazy up here. Holy cow. Microwave. <laughs> Aw, there's dinosaurs in the dishwasher there. Oh, this is just crazy. Okay, I gotta try it. Look at all the magnets. There's magnets all over this old fridge. It's a Frigidaire. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> know what they're doing in there. Whew. Oh, I see neon light through here. Whoa, whoa, it's like inside of my RV a little bit. I need this ceiling though, that is cool. All right, we can, we can vote. We're gonna end the vote here. We can vote for Can With Teeth or El Fugo and register here. Oh, oh. what the, let me try it again. It's going too fast. Ah. Let's try it again. It goes too fast. Oh, creepy. It's like a Zoltar that serves popcorn. <laughs> I don't know. Will he take my order? I really want to. I really want some popcorn. Can we? And some of that green ooze. That's weird. Okay, it's an old payphone. Look at the gum all over everything. Let's listen. And it has a dial tone. These like cell blocks. Who's in there? Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's look in this one. <laughs> hey guys. It's like Star Wars. That's an RV, Clark. Oh, ooze. Who's E? Oh, I don't have any quarters. I'll bet this does something. What are you guys doing? Aerial Sting Detective Agency. Huh. And this door says, warning, strobe lighting. How far does it go? Whoa. It's weird how you get stuck in these rooms all by yourself looking for the door. Oh, there's some up there too. Whoa. Uh, hey, holy cow. What are those popping up? What? Groundhogs? Those prairie dogs? Like, like alien prairie dogs maybe? <laughs> Kitty cats? I, I don't know. Weird. Yeah. It's like a snow cave in here. Let's climb up to the top of this sparkling cave. Look at the uh, stalagmites. Yeah. Huh. We're now up on the top floor now. What the? Oh. Oh, that's cool. You can move it around and look at stuff, look at people. Hmm. That's crazy. I was wondering if this is a little homage to uh, Omega Mart. See the logo there? Don't you think? I think. Yeah, it's like a, a tiny little convenience store version of Omega Mart. <laughs> Not sure if they serve food here, but I feel like following these little pepperoni pizza slices 
is my best chance, right? These are foods. Yeah, these are menus. That's that's Mr. Meatball, right? <laughs> this Mr. Meatball? I, I don't know. It's like Pizza the Hut over there? Huh. Wow, look how shiny this room is. It's just crazy. And then people are lining up to get their picture taken with that big robot guy up there. Or this one over here. Huh. Weird. Oh, okay. Then they exit us into the uh, gift store where you can buy one of those weird pizza things. <laughs> He's kind of cool. All right, they got merch. Let me uh, look around. I do have a few things you can buy that are like Omega Mart. Cherry Blitz. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Corn Plenty. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh man, don't do it, Eric. But these coffee cups are so cool. I, I gotta slow down on coffee cups, but man, that looks like almost like a Disney castle. Like half castle, half it's a small world. Uh, I don't know. And there's that one. Huh. Huh. All right. So for magnets, I think that's gonna be the winner there. $15. That's my Denver magnet right there. All right, so it literally took me walking all the way around and up and down and everything to figure out how the layout works. So I, I, I may have missed some stuff. I don't know for sure, but hello food. Okay. Oh, look what I found. What I got here? Mile High Hef. Mm, oh, what's that? It's got Sam Squanch on it. All right, went with the uh, Bigfoot Great Divide. It's like really brown, like like a really dark beer. So here, it's good. And a bowl of mac and cheese for dinner. Yum yum. All right. Well, it's always a, a hard one to share in there with all those people and everything going on in there. But it was cool. I actually liked Vegas better. Omega Mart. That doesn't mean this one just seemed more crowded. Although I spent less money because it's just one ticket and then you do everything. <laughs> Um, but anyways, it was interesting. I'm glad I got to go. Glad I get to display my magnet when I get back to the RV. I got a, a long bike ride back though. I missed you, Widow Opie. I missed you. There's no kitties allowed at the Meow Wolf. There should be, huh? Because it's called Meow. They should allow kitties in backpacks, huh? I agree. I know. I know you, fuzzy butt. I missed you, guy. You ready to cut on and get some sleepies? We're gonna go to a new state tomorrow. We're gonna start going to a new state tomorrow. Yeah. Tara's in her spot up here. She she loves this tater top blanket that Sean and Jill got me. So I just, when I'm not using it, I, I like to fold it up here. And this is the overhead loft area. One of Tara's favorite places to just kind of chill and escape and get some no opie time where she's not bothered. Not, not that she's, you know, bothered by Opie or anything, but he doesn't even know she's up here. <laughs> she's like, man, get that flash. You're going to let him know I'm up here, Dad. Look, she's going to bite me. You going to bite me? <laughs> Give it away. Your... <laughs> Give it away your location. Now I get kisses. You went from bite to kiss. Now bite. Can I get another kiss? <laughs> oh, I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I had a really fun time in the Denver area. It is time to move on, though. I need to start putting on some miles and head towards the Northwest and Pacific Ocean. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.